I think I'm gonna call this vlog Mom Books the Worst Hotel Ever. And so right. And we still make the best of it. Good morning, friends. It is day, oh, what day are we? Okay, let's count the days of the week. I think today is day three. Yes, it's day three of our uh, gonna be 11, 12 day road trip running together here. And today is what I had built in as a travel day. So you will see as these travel vlogs come out that the way I've planned it is that we take a day of travel to get here. And then yesterday we woke up at our first big destination, which was New York City. And we did all the New York City things. So today is another travel day and then tomorrow we will wake up and be fresh at our next big destination. Some locations we will actually be doing things for like two to three days. Other locations I've set it up so that we'll have a full day for New York City. We got there the night before, had plenty of time to get a good night's sleep. We could wake up, we spent the full day there, got back to the hotel that night. We slept until 8.30 this morning and now we're going to focus on travel and then our next fun that awaits us. Oh, yep, I just jumped right into showing you guys our room. That is our laundry bag. So when we get to our next destination, I'm going to run a load of laundry there. The way that we have it set up, several of you have asked how we're doing hotels for this big trip. Uh, we've done two rooms. So in this room, we have myself and Travis. We have Liam, Amelia, Daniel, and then Mr. Benjamin, who's around the corner there. We had two queen-size beds and then a fold-out couch. So Daniel and Liam slept here. Amelia, Benjamin, and I slept in the middle, and then Travis slept in the other bed. At home, we have a king-size bed, and you know, we just can't all fit in these queen-size beds. We've also brought our cooler along with us with lots of cold drinks. But this is a look of our room. So then in the second room is my mom, Jaden, Zion, Naomi, and Gabriel. And then obviously we're getting together for activities and such. Some hotels could not guarantee that they would be connected rooms. I don't even think, yeah, this room doesn't even have the adjoining door. So they're right across the hall from us. I'm going to call our next hotel today and see if they can make the, the rooms connect. But if not, that's what's helpful about having a third adult on this trip is that the older kids can share a room with my mom and they're having lots of fun doing that as well. This is not the style trip where I wanted to do like Airbnb for every destination. The main reason is whenever you rent a house you have to go through and like clean it like a full house and because we were only going to be like one full day in some locations I did not also want the responsibility on my 20 year anniversary road trip <laughs> of having to do full deep cleanings. We have picked up this room. They're going to need to obviously change the beds and vacuum and I didn't want to do that on my trip. Other trips that are coming up we'll do the whole like rent the cheap beach house deal for the week and do it like we're actually living in a house while we travel. So you can see we are a little over six hours away from our next destination. I wanted to show you I'm trying to use the most of this road trip time to uh, you know get my online work done. Woo, we are going over some bumpy roads here. Anyway, this is a power source that Travis got for me for my laptop for when we travel. There's also some that he talked about that's even more powerful that he would have to wire into the van. This one is with this plug-in outlet and then my laptop goes in the end here. So far, on our first day of heavy travel, it was only about, it was about five and a half hours or so and I was able to work on my laptop most of that time. And my laptop was charged, I had no problems whatsoever. So this we just picked up at Advanced Auto Parts before we hit the road. So we are about four hours or so from our destination. We are somewhere in the state of New York. We just stopped for gas and now we found a McDonald's and it's one of those McDonald's that actually has the playground in it still. I know they've taken a lot of those out. So we're gonna go in, stretch, use the bathroom, play, get lunch, and then get back on the road. Okay, friends, we made it to destination number two. And I will say, this hotel is a J. Morrell internet booking fail. The last one was okay. I'm hoping our next one is great. This one, I I booked it because of course, wait, hold on one second, sweetie. Of course I'm uh, you know, booking all the hotels and planning all the things. This one had some wording in its title that I assumed meant it was super close to the destination where we are now, which you'll see tomorrow. And uh, it's just, it's so not good. <laughs> <laughs> I try to I try to not complain, but I'm just being real with you here. The hotel is 
How old would you say this hotel is, Travis? We don't know. It's 70s. It's bad. It's just real bad. We uh, we were joking. It's like a crime crime scene filming location. So we are gonna make the best of it. We're gonna be gone all day. We're gonna sleep here tonight. My mom checked it for bugs. We're clear. We think. We're gonna stay here tonight. Gonna be gone all day tomorrow. Gonna sleep tomorrow night. Leave the following morning. Um, this is just a lesson in. I will definitely check more thoroughly. All I saw was close to our location, indoor pool, laundry facilities. Yeah, but this this one was a JMRL fail. But I'm gonna give you guys just like a little brief tour. This part, um, again, it's not the hotel's fault. The hotel didn't didn't mean any harm. This is JMRL online booking errors. I mean, even you know, it's okay. It'll be okay. But for our big family trip, you know, I'm glad that tomorrow is a day that we're not going to uh, see stuff like that. We're not going to be here all day tomorrow, right, Mismatch Boy with socks on your head? We are going to laundry hat. We are going to go run a load of laundry. The hall view. So here's our doors. Liam, knock. This is grandmother and the other kids' room. Going in the awesome elevator. My laundry Ripped. helper. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's always a good sign, right? So the only elevator in the whole hotel. Hit five, yeah. So that means this is a very popular elevator to take. Amelia, say we're back. We're back. We're back. Hello. Hello. Okay, so Amelia. Oh, Vic and Face is looking mommy. We're gonna take these quarters. Let me show you. I'm gonna do the first one. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Okay, put it in just like that. See how I did that? Yep. So it's about 10.30 at night and Amelia and I, we moved the laundry into the dryer. It actually, it smells really good. It, it looks like it washed well. So we're excited about that, aren't we, sweetie? Here's my big kid's pile of clothes, loosely folded. We're gonna stick in a bag and drop off for them as part of their vacation laundry service. Well guys, we made it through the night in this interesting hotel that mama booked online. <laughs> and uh, we made it through the night. The sun is shining. It's a brand new day at our next destination. Again, we will be gone all day today. We will come back and sleep tonight. And tomorrow we are off to our next stop. So thank you for watching some of my uh, road trip bloopers with uh, booking a very interesting hotel and come back tomorrow to see where we landed, what we do, and what our next stop is. I'll see you tomorrow with a brand new video. Bye-bye.